Okay, this video is for Granddad, and uh, thanks, Granddad, for that video you, you did on the um, metal detector that comes in a little kit from uh, the Orient, and uh, you have to put it all together, and your video showing how to put that together made this project. Had I not seen your video, I wouldn't have done this, because the soldering on that is tricky unless you see somebody show you how to do it. So thanks granddad for that. But I made the comment that I thought I might be able to make that into a pulse motor driver. And uh, I was successful. So this uh, video is for granddad. And this is the metal detector pulse motor um, lid motor. This is the 5th of February 2020. Um, the one I got, the kit that I got, uh, uses a power bank but it also has a place to put the power in any way you want so that's what I've got uh, here which is like what you're using a uh, 3.7 volt lithium um, the little buzzer that goes right there I took it off the board and put it remotely over there and then the coil for the pulse motor the wires just go in parallel to that buzzer now the little piece of paper if you take the paper off, this is really loud. So I put the paper back on there part way to kind of mute this down so I could do the video. But this is a, a metal detector. That uh, picks up that. And if you put the uh, metal detector up on the pulse motor. There's your pulse motor. And as those aluminum plates go by that thing, uh, the uh, coil picks up a change in, I believe it's in capacitance or induction, I'm not sure what, and uh, triggers the buzzer and the LED. And of course with the coil that I've got there hooked up in parallel to the buzzer, every time the the uh, metal detector goes off it energizes that electrical coil which pushes on the magnet which makes the motor go round and round and uh, I was surprised this worked I mean it really was and I was surprised the uh, circuit would react quick enough to it and it does but um, if I put this on it, it goes pretty darn fast, so I wanted to slow it down with that. But if, I'm going to put a link to Granddad's uh, video, and the real value of this project was the tutorial on how to solder that up. And had I not seen Granddad's video, I wasn't even going to attempt this, because those little parts you have to use very fine solder and a fine uh, tipped soldering iron to be able to do that. If you don't, the solder bleeds over onto the other contact points and the thing doesn't work. Um, um, I had a couple of problems uh, with the transistors but I got it, got it done and got it to work. And uh, like I say, that is a uh, metal detector pulse motor. And uh, here again, Granddad made that happen. So thanks, Granddad. I sure appreciate that. And that made my project happen. Thanks for watching.